So you can hear me. <laughs> if you... Hello. Hello, tiny person. Uh, if you can hear me, just stay there. And just stay there. Okay. Wait. you if you if you if you have a name and why are you here in my place of work how did you get here how who can you talk if if indeed I mean I can't see you Okay, so you are, in fact, a person. I can see that. I can see that you're a person. I can see that you're awake. I mean, how on earth you are conscious uh, and moving and alive and a real thing is beyond me, but how are you there tomorrow? Are you speaking? Yes. Oh, you've got your hand to your ears. I see. I assume that because you are very small that I must sound quite lo uh, loud. Is that fair to say? No loud noises. Okay, and there you are. Oh my god. How are you so small? Can you do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? I'm sp I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna speak very quietly so that whatever you have and I can see that you are in fact trying to talk to me it's just that my ears one, one presumes can't actually hear the frequencies of which you're speaking this whole thing doesn't make sense. Why are you so small? Tiny human, what is your story? What is your story? Has your mass stayed the same as if you were a bigger human? Or, sorry, I'm just going to, uh, See if these clothes are actual, are real human clothes. Have you been shrunk? Is this a honey eye shrunk the kids sort of situation? Because that would be quite fun if it is. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Getting in close. It's okay. If your mass has stayed the same, it would mean that you're very dense. I mean, not, not stupid dense, but incredibly, uh, like, heavy. You know, I mean, I'm surprised. If you have kept the same amount of mass, then why aren't you imploding? Why are you still alive? You would theoretically crumble into yourself, which would mean that your mass has scaled proportionally and that if you have indeed been shrunk, which I assume you have because you're wearing human clothes, unless you have loads and loads of tiny little 
potatoes, which, hey, I don't know why I'm trying to rule out that option. You are light and probably very fast, like an ant. Ants and other very, very small creatures, if they were our size, they would move at like 50 miles an hour. How quickly do you move? Well, so far, not that quickly at all. But I assume, like me, you feel maybe a little bit out of your element. Is that uh, fair to say? I can see it, is that you can probably walk on water, because you are so light that the surface tension of the water would just hold you. That's crazy. It's like you're a tiny little Jesus. super strength. Nod. Nod if you do. Yes or no. Are you nodding? <laughs> I can't tell. The problem that I see is that if you are indeed very, very uh, fast, like an ant or a small creature, you will also have an insane metabolism, if indeed you are light, proportionally scaled down human. You will be exerting huge, huge amounts of energy constantly, just breathing or walking with your tiny, tiny legs. Are you? How much do you eat? <laughs> In fact, if you are having to eat every few minutes, Let me see if I can find you something. One second. No, 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 don't go. No, you're not allowed to go. You're not allowed to go. But, 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 
Um, well, do you ever think? Do you ever? Do you ever think? I don't know why I'm asking you because of uh, what you are. But do you ever wonder or think to yourself what you would do if you encountered a uh, either a person with extraordinary uh, powers, abilities, whatever, or if you yourself developed an incredible uh, feature or feature set abilities. You know what I mean? Uh, you see, I have thought about this many times. And the truth is that I would love to be in your position, let's say, or to have someone with your special talents. And your, you know, yeah, I mean, I, this actually must be quite nice for you. All this nice tapping. Let's hope it is. No, I must be huge right now. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't know what you do with your powers currently. I don't even know if they're powers for you. I don't know what you are. But, 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 but before you scurry off, and I'm sorry, you probably don't want to be here. But before you do, I want to, what do I want to do? I want to put something to you, I guess. I think you and I would be a nice team. A, uh, a good sort of duo. And... I've always wanted to be a superhero, you know. I've always wanted to be extraordinary. I've always just leapt off the nearest couch in the hopes that I could fly. I always look to my hanging plants up there. And I just try and telekinesis them, you know. Try and move them with my mind. I do it every day. And now, you, a supernatural person, thing, have just walked into my life, and I can't let you go. Well, sorry, I will take the glass off you, because that feels not very nice, but can you please stay? Please. I'll make it worth your while, somehow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. How about this as a deal? I feed you. Constantly. Because of what I assume is your incredibly fast metabolism. Okay. And I uh, give you a nice little home. Hmm? We can, I'm sure, make a tiny little burrow for you, like the borrowers. I can potentially fix up some of your clothes. No disrespect, you look great, but perhaps you've been wearing that for a while. Don't get me wrong, I think you look very, very fetching. But, considering we are now a crime-fighting duo, I think we need to look the part, don't you? And yes, I mean we. I mean the designers matching uniforms. What's my role going to be? I mean, I'm clearly like, you know, the brains and costume of the organisation. But, I mean, you, you, in a sense, Get a lot of the glory because you're our. Uh, I don't know what. What's your name? What's your crime-fighting superhero name? Maybe my crime-fighting name could just be Atlas. I, sort of out there enough, isn't it? Hold very still. No more moving around. And. So, 
If mine's Atlas, I mean, I guess you could stick with the uh, with the Greek mythology sort of theme. We could be the uh, Argonauts, or we could be the uh, yeah. That's also a mythological reference. I realize it's nothing to do with that. We could be the Titans. That would make more sense. Let's be the Titans. to pick from loads and it's ironic eh? because you're tiny and I'm only normal size hmm. do you want anything to drink by the way I don't know why I'm still asking you questions like uh, like you're gonna reply to me um, you can have my water started, you know, fighting crime and stuff. I need to think of a way for you to communicate with me. Maybe like tiny walkie-talkies. What can I make? I can make tiny walkie-talkies. I can make you can hear me I assume I'm this deafening giant of a figure but I'm going to speak very softly what happens if it rains does that like completely take you out okay how about this go away Brock yum okay how about this I design you some sort of suit that gives you extra mass and of course it's uh, uh, incredibly fashionable and it's waterproof and I don't know, we could do all sorts how about that? nod, shake your head okay, I'll be honest small criticism it's nothing, I know we've just met small criticism you're not being very enthusiastic you know here I am just trying to be uh, well just, just trying to be uh, excited for our new adventures you know just trying to be nice and <laughs> it's a, if I just had one criticism it's that you could maybe just you know get a bit more excited mm, you're walking away over you if you keep walking away I feel like what I'm pitching uh, is fun why did you why did you come here if you didn't want to be friends I think in the public interest it wouldn't be responsible of me to let you go off and team up with a villainous type now would it i don't think so see i think if you were if we're talking superhero duos i'm probably the best 
uh, sidekick, or you're the best sidekick uh, to me, and we'll be the best duo. I don't want you partnering with someone with, um, um, shall we say, nefarious intentions. The way I see it, you have a choice to make, and it's pretty simple. The Titans, or you stand under that glass. Hmm? What's it going to be? You're going to have to give me a little bit more than that. What's it going to be? Yes or no? You know what? I think uh, as a gesture of goodwill. Hi. We do our secret handshake again. It's where you just uh, in the cotton bud and handshake. You put your fist down. Put your tiny fist down. Okay. And <laughs> I didn't see if you did that, but hey ho. This is weird. This bond that we have forged in such a short amount of time. It's crazy to think that only a few short minutes ago we we didn't know each other. I didn't, I, I didn't even know you existed. But <sighs> here we are. Here we are. A couple of a couple of pals. You know. If one did discover they had powers, do you think that one has a moral obligation to be studied? You know, to let science make sense of you? Do you think that you have a moral obligation to do good? You know? Do you think that because you didn't have powers before, it shouldn't really change how you conduct yourself? Because now I have you, you, a real life, tiny, tiny human, right in front of me. And I have no idea. I have no idea. The power is in my hands and I have no idea what to do with you do I have any responsibility to you or do I just have responsibility to the public are you the thing or person that's going to make my life a life worth remembering hmm are you my stamp on the world? This tiny person fling here seemingly of no consequence. Without me will you be discovered? Without me will you be remembered? What will be your legacy if I don't help you? So many questions. Boo. Found you. It's an example of you know, some of the games that we could play. You know, I like to uh, mark about and have Raise your hands in the air and you just don't care. Didn't see it. Raise your hands in the air if you just don't care. Yeah, you might have. You might have. Why have I put all these lights up? I just wanted to look cool for you. What must you think of me? 
Mm -hmm. Do you think we've got on, got out to a strong start? Or do you think I should start over? No. Yes. Yes. You're real. <clears throat> City Hall and introduce ourselves as the Titans or any other name that we want featuring Atlas and uh, his psychic, whatever your name is. That'll be exciting. What else do you need? I mean, we could, I can make you a, I can make you a cape. You, we could, weapon of choice could be this cutie bear or it could be this this tiny burnt match or it could be hey any number of things any number of things nefarious intentions and it's up to me to stop you I'm sorry to say perhaps if fate has it the sun will shine on me again and I'll be graced by the presence of one of your brothers or sisters or fellow tiny Well, this is the end of the line for you, friend.